Hi everybody, my name is Mike. This is my YouTube page, Mox News. Uh, okay, uh, I just want to take a quick minute uh, with the the Camilla Harris town hall event that CNN had tonight. Uh, it's kind of like the beginning of the 2020 presidential season, and there's going to be a lot of these town hall type events, and um, and everybody's going to be recording everything all the time. Okay, so. Uh, the, I think there's a really important question to be asked, especially of the Democratic candidates, if you get the actual opportunity to ask them a question. I probably myself will not get that opportunity because I'm doing my best to be here in place for you to get as many different uh, um voices and opinions of people that are running for the presidential campaign uh, out to as many people as possible so that you can you know hear all the different opinions and make up your own mind be a more informed citizen that's all that's what I'm trying to help make happen here you guys are here because you're looking for bits of knowledge okay that's why you came to Mox News that's why you stay at Mox News, because Mox News provides you with a never-ending stream of bits of knowledge, many of which are actually very important to you, and you are are almost to the point of amazement at point at times, and and many of you, um, I don't know. I, there's I I know I throw a lot at you. Understand, it's just me here. I'm not getting paid by anyone. I'm not getting any kind of monetization, any kind of commercialization. I don't make you watch a video at the beginning of the video, right? I don't make you sit through a commercial that's like, you know, we just take this 10 seconds off of your life. You're not going to notice that I just took 10 seconds away from your life. You're not going to notice it. You'll never notice this 10 seconds, and this 10 seconds, and this 10 seconds, and this 10 seconds. I don't do that to you. Okay? And maybe you won't ever notice it, but I didn't do that to you. I put out a bit of knowledge. If you were interested in looking for that bit of knowledge, it was there, made available to you easily so that you could comment or you could get, uh, gleam the knowledge that you were looking to gleam from this bit, this little jewel that I shaved down off of hours and hours and hours of programming just for you. So you didn't have to go through the hours and hours of programming to get to it. That's what I do. So we're clear. Now, that being said, um, I think the, one of the most important questions that can be asked of these Democratic presidential candidates is, uh, and it needs to be framed properly, okay, because uh, otherwise, you know, the question is about uh, legalization of marijuana. And if you just say, you know, how will you feel about the legalization of marijuana, what they're going to hear is, hey, I want my weed. Are you going to let me have my weed? Because because these people are all pretty much police state mentality. Anyone who's running for president is police state mentality. Anyone who's a, a, a lawmaker, they're governing your freedom. That's what they're doing. That they, they believe that is their job. Not protecting your freedom the way that I see their job to be, but governing it. Making sure you don't get too out of control with your freedom. So, this question has to be, so you will know right away when you ask this question of these Democratic, especially the, the Democratic candidates, where it is that they stand on your personal freedom, on whether they believe that you need to be babysat, you and your neighbors and your family and your friend need to be babysat by the nanny state and tell you what it is okay for you to put in your mouth and what's not okay to put in your mouth or your body, whatever. Because, uh, which has worked out so well for them up to this point. <clears throat> Brought us the opioid epidemic, in case we're not clear, in case I'm not being clear on that. But, I digress. 
the way to frame this question, and again, I know a bunch of you are looking at me right now and saying, see, he just wants to get his weed. And that's the way that all the cop suckers are going to look at it. You know, they're going to be like, oh, all the police state firsters are going to be like, oh, I just want, I are, <laughs> this state that I live in, cannabis is legal. I can go, there's, there's a shop very short walking distance from here. Um, and not just that, I've been a medical marijuana patient for 15 years. So I have had legal marijuana for 15 years. I'm not fighting for my freedom. I'm fighting for yours. Okay, I'm fighting to take away power from the police, from the lawyers, from the judges of the most benign substance known to man, safer than aspirin. Take that power away from all these powerful elite bitch cunts and give it to the people where it belonged in the first place for you to decide what you put into your body. Okay? But it has to be framed in the right way or all they're going to hear is, I want my weed. Okay? So you have to frame this question in this way uh, for these, uh, these presidential candidates. You say, Senator, during the 2016 presidential campaign, Bernie Sanders, during all of his speeches at every one of his uh, presidential rallies, uh, campaign rallies, uh, said again and again, marijuana being illegal is institutionalized racism. And you can go and look it up. He said it in all of his 2016 speeches. Please go look it up, Senator. Uh, this being said, uh, how is it that you are going to, and, and knowing how much you hate racism, I would think institutionalized racism even more, wanting to fight against that wholeheartedly. How would you fight this injustice of this institutionalized racism of cannabis being illegal in the United States? What is it you're going to do about this, Senator? Or Congressperson, or, you know, whoever it is, rich dude. <clears throat> now, that being said, at this Camilla Harris uh, <laughs> town hall, uh, where there was all these spontaneous questions, um, if I had had my chance, of course, and this is the thing, I'm not going to be the person they asked to ask the question, but you may be, and that's why I want to put this out there so that you know, and the answer to this question will let you know exactly how this person feels about you and your personal freedom, and your neighbor's personal freedom, and your community's personal freedom, whether you need to be babysat by the nanny state, government, police state, or you should be able to have that little tiny bit of freedom. You who work so hard for, to be a good person in your life, in your world, should have that little tiny bit of freedom. So I wanted to just point that out because I think it is actually important. Now, um, there's over 8,500 videos on this one Mox News YouTube page. It takes a great deal of time and effort to do that. I am not asking you to agree with my politics. I'm not asking you to appreciate my Rico Suave style. I am simply asking you to appreciate the facts that this service survives solely on tips and donations and that you are a better person than to use a service that you know survives solely on tips and never tip. If I'm wrong, if I'm giving you too much credit, I would be really surprised about that. And I know you think that that somehow I should be making, I mean, I do millions and millions of views, I should be making lots of money, and I don't. You can go and look at my GoFundMe page and realize immediately no one's giving anything back. Not no one, this little teeny tiny percentage is giving something back. <clears throat> it's easy to realize, okay? I and and I don't monetize any of these videos. I don't say I don't take away from you something. I don't reach into your pocket and scoop out a little bit of time. Oh, it's just 10 seconds of your life. 
you're never going to miss that 10 seconds of your life. Here, I'm going to go ahead and just scoop this 10 seconds of your life out and just scoop this 10 seconds of your life out. Just scoop this 10 seconds of your life and this 10 seconds and this 10 seconds and this 10 seconds. I don't do that to you. I give you bits of knowledge that you're seeking. If I was not giving you something, you wouldn't be here. I work very hard. It takes a lot of time and effort to get 85, more than 8,500 videos on a YouTube page. Imagine how long that would take you. Tens of thousands of hours. Please just acknowledge the facts that you are better people than someone who would use a service that you know survives solely on tips and never tip. Please acknowledge that. And you should really realize that it makes you feel good to tip someone. It always makes me feel good to tip someone, especially someone who does a good job, especially if I can tip generously. I'm always like, yeah, that's right. I'm one of the good ones. Be one of the good ones. Feel good about something. Give something back to someone who has given you and this community so much. Please. Okay. Thanks very much for tuning in. Stay cool. One of these days this war is going to end. Till that day.